let us discuss existence dependency in ER diagram. Now, what is the existence dependency in the ER diagram? To explain this one, let us go through one example. So, here we are having one entity called student with three attributes roll number, name and age. Another entity called course with the three attributes course number, course name and fees. And there is one relationship registration which is having this role and the course number. And this arrow is indicating that this is one and this is many. That indicates that against one course multiple students can take admission. And also it indicates that a student can take admission in one course only. It is not many to many. That means a course can have multiple students admission, registration or another uh, uh, along with the same time a particular student can take registration in multiple courses that will be the many to many but here it is many to one. So a course can have multiple registrations of students and a student can have a single course at a time. Okay, Now let us discuss and let us give the emphasis on the term existence dependency. You see I cannot be I cannot be the student of a certain college until and unless I do the registration against one of the courses which the college is offering. So that means all the student roll numbers must be having entries in the roll number column under the registration because you cannot find it a single student existing in this particular entity who have not done any registration in any one of the courses. So that means if a student is really a student for this particular organization, this particular institute, then he or she might have taken, should be taken, should be taking one admissions in any one of the courses. So that means this student will exist if the student roll number is existing under the roll number column within the registration. We know that registration is having two columns, two attributes. One is the roll number coming from the student as primary key and course number coming from the course as a primary key. So that is known as the existence dependency. But you can find multiple courses where no registration have taken place yet. So all the course numbers, the respective values will be coming in the registration table is not mandatory. But all the roll numbers will be coming to this registration table that is mandatory. So that means a student can exist if his or her roll number is registered under the roll number column of the registration table. So that is known as the existence dependency. So let us suppose this particular college is having 100 courses and there are say 400 students are there have got registered. So can you tell me how many records will be there under this registration column? As each and every role will be coming once and all of them should be coming at least once but must be there. So this registration will have 400 records. So 400 relationships will be there and this particular registration will have the 400 relationships. This particular student will have the 400 entities. This particular course will have the 100 entities, course entities and will form the entity set, it will form an entity set and this 400 relationships will form relationship set. This is known as existence dependency that means a student cannot exist, a student entity cannot exist if his or her roll number is appearing in the roll number of this registration. And this concept will be very important while designing one year diagram and how to get tables from the year diagram, how to get tables, how to get that how many tables will be there against the year diagram that is also a very interesting one. So this concept will be required in the next videos. Please watch all of them. They will be in the continuation. Thanks for watching this one.